Hi guys, Debbie here. Today I've got a really exciting video for you because I've got the Kaleidos Makeup X and Yellow Canute Fierce Club Nebula Palette to show you. So Kaleidos very kindly sent this to me in PR. So Kaleidos, if you get to watch this video, thank you so, so much for sending this my way. This is the PR box and everything comes really well packaged with foam inside to look after everything and make sure it gets to you in one piece, which I really appreciate. Also in the package, you've got a set of playing cards, which as a makeup collector, I thought that was a really nice touch. I always like it if there's something unique about a package. So yeah, love that. And this of course is the beautiful palette. The artwork is stunning. It's in the same format as the Escape Pod palette just looks absolutely gorgeous. So if you want to see me create my very first look with the Kaleidos Makeup X and Yellow Can Eat This Club Nebula Palette, please keep on watching. Hey guys, before we get into the palette, just a little bit about me and my channel. I'm Debbie, I'm 52, and I love to wear colorful, dramatic makeup, quite often dramatic eyes with dramatic lips. My channel was kind of born out of frustration from not seeing anyone my age doing the looks that I like to see. So if you're my kind of age or whatever age you are and you're looking maybe for a channel that's perhaps a little bit older, that's in your age group, but that is doing the colorful makeup looks that you see a lot of younger YouTubers do, but kind of adapting them up to work for the problems that we have as we age a little bit, then I think my channel would be perfect for you. But whatever age you are, I hope to inspire you with my colourful looks and just my attitude to makeup in that it's fun and it's creative and if it doesn't work out when you try a look, then it washes off at the end of the day. That is my philosophy. So if that sounds like something you could vibe with, I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel. But that being said, let's create the first look with the Club Nebula palette. So I'm just going to bring this up close so you can take a moment to appreciate just how gorgeous that artwork is because it's absolutely stunning. On the back it says, the Club Nebula palette is a collection of my favourite shades for my favourite people and that's from Angelica herself. Now Angelica is one of my favourite beauty YouTubers, he's the first one I found that was doing colourful makeup actually because I used to follow a lot of the bigger YouTubers, Kathleen Lights, Nikki Tutorials, etc. Nikki does a lot of colour as well, but but Angelica takes things to a whole new level of colour and it's just so inspiring to me. I think she's the queen of colourful makeup, to be honest. And so when I kind of realised there was a lot of um, rumours that it was going to be Angelica and I was suspicious that it would be her, but I didn't know until it was announced. But when I realised it was going to be her, I was just so excited because she knows how to put a colour story together like nobody else. And these are the colours inside. And it's just beautiful. There's so much you can do with this palette. It's just stunning. What I like about it is how many dark mattes are included. So all this area here, I'm just in love with, but that you've got transition shades in lots of different colours to, to blend those out. And Yelica knows what she's doing. She knows how to make a palette that's cohesive, but also that you can rock so many looks with, and that you've got shades to kind of complement everything that you might need. So there's more mattes than there are shimmers in the palette, which is a ratio I prefer, and I know she does too. And those dark, colourful, yummy mattes are, are what she enjoys the most, and, and I have to agree. So there are five shimmers though, and what Kaleidos do better than anyone else, I think, is their shimmers. They're just on another level of reflectiveness and gorgeousness. So I'm just so pumped to play with this. I don't know what to do first, really, and, and what colours to dip into, but the green, the like the foresty green is calling my name today and maybe the deep blue but I've got to include the red somehow or other because red is my favourite colour and I'm so thankful there's a red in this palette. And yeah, Yelka loves red as well and corally colours so I was hopeful there would be a red in there and so excited to see that there was. So without further ado, let's get on with it. I'm just going to start applying some colours and see where it takes me because I don't really have a plan. And yeah, let's see what happens. So I'm just going to prime as I always do with the Matte Painterly Paint Pot. I'm not swatching the palette by the way because 
A, I'm rubbish at it, and B, Anjelica did so much of an amazing job swatching it, so I'll direct you to her video if you want to see swatches. Now the palette itself, or all of the, the collection, is sold out currently, but there is going to be a restock. I think the date from memory is the 17th of February, but I will drop that down in the description box. So you have one more chance, this was limited edition, but you've got one more chance to pick it up if you haven't. And I know a lot of you that follow me were super excited for this one and you picked it up already. So I'm hoping that I can inspire you with some looks with this one. I'm gonna do a few looks with it, I think. I might do a multiple looks, one palette video. I don't do those too often anymore, but I might do with this one, because as I say, I know how excited everyone was for this. So I'm gonna start with Queen of Blades, and I'm gonna start building that up in my outer V and kind of as a bit of a wing shape, because while I was talking there, I've kind of thought of a bit of a plan. A brave choice to, to go in with this one first, because it's a very deep pigmented colour, so I'm tapping my brush off, trying to avoid any fallout, but I think I might get some because it is a very pigmented shade, but it's very beautiful. So I'm just going to start by packing that just in the outer corners. I want to bring it through my crease a little bit, I've got a Morphe E36 here. If you've got Morphe E36 brushes, you'll know, none of them are the same, this one's quite a a fluffy version, but I don't want to bring it in too far. And I wanted a small brush to do it, so I think this one will work quite well. So I'm just using light pressure just to bring that in the crease a little. We're not going to do any wings today, I don't think. And I'm getting some tinsy specks of fallout, but nothing too, too bad. I think you might want to go in and do your eyes first though if you didn't want to have to worry about that. I'm going to bring that colour onto my lower lash line but just the outer third and connect it up with that outer corner. And then I'm going to go in with the shade 7 of 9, this one here and blend around the edges and I've wiped off the brush that I was using. I'm just going to take that just on the edges of that colour. I'm using that shade to help me blend out but also just to Give me a bit more interest in the look, but what I am noticing is I'm not losing any of the pigment from the Queen of Blades shade that we went in with first, so that's a real positive because often when you start to blend another shade in, you lose the opacity of the first one, or I definitely do, and that's not the case here, it's still looking super vivid. Now, this is where I want to bring some interest into the look, and this could be a bold move or a total mistake but I want to go in with Red Giant the red and I want to place that here but going up to my brows. I just want to do something that I haven't done before and that I don't think other people will do with the palette either. So I'm taking that kind of sketching a shape so that we're going to have an area that's kind of devoid of shadow that we're going to use the shimmers in. So I'm just using the tip of like a packing brush because I want to keep this precise. And I am going to blend it out with the shade Summer, which is the corally shade. I don't think I've ever done this kind of placement before as well, which it's always fun to do something a little bit out of the box, I think. This is a look that's gonna look super crazy before it looks any better, and it may not work at all, but I just wanted to, as I say, just do something a bit different. I love the tones in that red, it's super dark. You guys know, if you've been here before, that red eyeshadow is one of my favorites, but it's also a color that not everyone gets right, and I think this is a true red, but a deep true red, so it's quite special. 
going to bring a bit of that summer shade in now just to blend where I've placed that red. I'm using a million brushes to create this look today. I'm not one of these people that can like just clean off a brush and carry on. I like to use a different brush for just about every purpose. I love how that's giving us a gradient there but still keeping the red tone. Now that that's laid down, I can work on blending those two colours together a bit more. That red is super pigmented though. Even with all of that summer shade over the top, it's still showing through so deep. I'm connecting the shape up to my eyebrows pretty much. Okay, now for the shimmers, the exciting bit. So I'm gonna go in with NYX Glitter Primer. I always like to use that just to amp up the shimmers, give them something to grip on to. I'm gonna use the Kleidos S4 to do that. And basically, I'm going to be putting the glitter glue everywhere where we don't have shadow. So I'm gonna take it across my lid there and then up. I'm kind of stopping there though, I'm not going to be taking shimmer right onto the brow bone on this side. So I'm going to go in this area first, I'm going to use the shade Astro. I'm going to place that just in that area we've left there. So we start to get a blend from matte to shimmer. That's so beautiful and reflective on the eyes. Lidos shimmers are my absolute favourite in my collection. I think they're magical. Taking that slightly up into my crease just to give that illusion that my eye ball is a little bit bigger than it is. Just think it definitely helps. Where that shimmer meets the matte, I'm just trying to create a little bit of a fade there. That's always a little bit tricky. Then we're going to go in with Firefly, this one here. I'm going to lay that down next to that shade, but I'm still going to leave myself kind of an angled shape to be able to go in with one more shimmer, but coming up next to that red. So I'm just blending those two shimmers together. They look so pretty next to one another as well. And then the last shimmer we're going to apply is Celestial, this one here. And that's going to go in the area that we've created the, between the shimmers and the mattes. Just wanted to try as many shimmers in this look as I could. It's kind of blending the, the look together now and making it a bit more cohesive, I think, by having those shimmers there. I don't want to add a brow bone highlight, but I do just want to just blend slightly. Just to bring that a little bit higher into my brow bone area. I'm going to take Deep End by Urban Decay in my waterline to about two thirds of the way across. For the inner part of my waterline, I'm going to go in with Gel Fresh by Linda Halberg. I just wanted a little bit of glitz in that inner part. And then just around this tear duct area and onto the lower lash line, I'm going to see if we can sneak one more shimmer in. So we're going to use the shade Nova there. For that, I'm going to load it up on the brush and then spray it. Oh yes, that's so beautiful. It's got a purpley shift in it. That's stunning. I wasn't sure if that would work, but I think it's really added an extra dimension to the look. Looks white in the pan, but it's a beautiful duochrome. 
Okay, that's the look to this point. Just gonna hop off camera for mascara and a lip and I'll be back with you to show you the finished look. Okay guys, so here's the finished look. I really love how this one turned out. I think Angelica did an amazing job of creating the colors, just the mixture of dark mattes, but the beautiful reflective shimmers. It was just so inspiring to me and I just wanted to do something creative straight out of the bat. I normally just do something quite basic on a first impressions of a palette, but just really wanted to play and just do something a bit whimsical and yeah, different to perhaps what everyone else will do. So I think I've achieved that and I really, really love how it looks. So mascara today, I still haven't managed to pick up a new bad girl bang, so we're using the blue one again, but actually it works quite well because I've got quite a lot of blue and green going on in the look. And then I've got Luna Beauty's Witch Bitch on my lips, one of my favourite deep reds. I thought it just echoed a bit of the red and kind of brought the whole look together because otherwise it just looks like that red's kind of randomly placed. So I think it kind of ties things up. So the palette then, as I say, it's just gorgeous. It's just stunning. I love everything about it. The formula to me is exactly the same as I'm used to seeing from Kaleidos Makeup. The mattes are super pigmented but easy to blend there was some fallout from that queen of blades shade but you know it's such a dark shade you're gonna get that i have still got a little bit on my face that i couldn't remove so i think you might want to do your eye makeup before your face makeup if that worries you but you know it's, it's not too bad there's a one or two specks that i couldn't brush away but I just love how rich and pigmented that shade went on but that it still blended and that there's a blending shade for every deep matte as well. I've made no secret of the fact that I'm not the greatest at blending so I think having a shade that's lighter than the deep shades in every colourway to help with that blending process but also bring some extra interest into the look is key and I think as I said in the intro you know Angelica knows what she's doing with this stuff she creates amazing looks and she knows what it is to create a palette that's usable but that you can create a multitude of different looks from. The shimmers are just beautiful as usual. They're ultra reflective and shiny. They're glittery without being pressed glitter. I hate pressed glitter, but they've got that finely milled sparkle and as I say, high mirror shine about them. They're just something else, they're so special. So I had an amazing time for my first outing with the palette. Absolutely love it. And Yelka, congratulations on the launch and creating such an amazing palette. I hope you might get to watch the video and, and see what I've done with it because I think I do looks kind of a little bit different to a lot of people might do. So I hope you get to see it because you've inspired me so, so much. I just want to just add a little bit on the end here to say that I sent Angelica a picture of my very first colourful makeup look. It was about four or five years ago when I first started watering. I wasn't really doing much colour at that point and my photography skills were terrible and I sent this picture to her and it had blue on the lids and it was kind of just blended out with a brown. It wasn't the greatest look ever. Sent it to her via DM and said, you've inspired me so much to get into colour. And she was the first YouTuber to actually reply to me because I was following a lot bigger YouTubers and they just don't. And I was just amazed and I said, oh my God, you replied. And I was just like, so like starstruck that she'd taken the time to reply. And I've just been a fan ever since. I think she's stayed humble and she's just such a, a nice person and she just deserves this so, so much. So, so thank you so much, Angelica, for being a inspiration to me in my journey in makeup. I hope I've done you proud with my first look with the palette. Kaleidos, congratulations as well on an amazing launch. I think it went really, really smoothly and everybody that wanted it had the chance to get it and I get in the palettes pretty quickly. I mean, they come from China, so it is taking a bit longer, I think, for people in the States to get them, but they ship really, really fast. And as I say, if you want to pick this palette up, you're gonna get another chance. I believe, as I say from memory, it was the 17th of February that the, the next chance is gonna be, but as I say, I'll leave everything you need down in my description. I'll also link, as I say, the introduction video from Angelica where she showed swatches in all different lights so that you can see the magic and sparkle in those shimmers, but also see the rich pigmented mattes as well. So yeah, that all being said, that brings us to the end of the video. As I say, if 
my makeup style and what I'm doing on my channel is something you think you might be able to vibe with then I'd love to have you subscribe so please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to keep abreast of all my future uploads but thank you for watching this one and I hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are catch you in the next one bye guys mm -hmm.